What? What? On out here. Hang on. Apparently, the retirement village has shown up. Not for me though, because um, I'm not quite there yet. Okay, so what I wanted to show you here, which just started happening finally, um, this painting was very flat looking and not very realistic. So I started messing with color and shadow. And so what I've done is I've brought blue shadows in under this side of the neck. So white really isn't white and uh, black, black is kind of black, but I'm not using black. Hey Nell, how are you? Um, Nell, coming in from Wales, how cool is that? It's so neat that we get to like hang out with each other even though we're super far away and we've probably, I've never been there and you've probably never been here, have you? So she said she never saw a deer, so I'm like, well, you couldn't have been to America. I mean, we have lots of deer. <laughs> well, uh, actually just outside of the cities, I mean, anyway. I'm great, I'm great, I'm having some fun here and I just thought I would check in. I got something to show you. Um, my new business cards are here. Awesome, so totally stoked about that. And um, anyway, so what do you think? I mean, this it's getting dimensional. So what I'm doing, so I took some of the detail out of the main and that way it'll look like it recedes back in space further. And then the de more detail up close, all the retirees are getting out of the retirement van. I guess they're going to the coffee shop. I guess it's like retirement village coffee shop day or something, because we've got a coffee shop right there, which is awesome by the way. Also, come here boy, come here boy, come here, come here, come here. I'll get Henry, come here. And also my um, studio dog is here with me today. And he was looking at the, he was looking out the window at all the people getting out of the retirement village van. So that's neat. Okay, painting step by step. So cute and amazing. Okay, so here's the bad thing about this painting. I started this a couple years ago and I, it's just for my house. It's not for public consumption. So I can't sell it. Um, but I can show you what I'm working on. It's a, um, it's like clip art or something. I mean, I've seen this picture. I think the clip art people probably stole it because I have seen the original photograph that this came from. And um, the ladies are looking in here. <laughs> we'll just not put them on screen. But anyway, so it's a the full painting is both parts of the zebras. And so down here, this was pure black and white when I first started it. And that was all in underpainting. And my family's like, I thought it was done. Well, it looked like a cartoon. It was never meant to be finished like that. It was meant to look more like this with the depth and dimension. So if you can see here, um, the yellow, this is not white, okay? It's white tinted with yellow. And that brings the, that brings the shape closer to you. And then as it comes down, I didn't put more yellow on the way back down, down here. I'm probably gonna reflect up maybe some of the, some of the color that's at the foot of the painting. Here, I'll bend it down for just a second. And ah! Okay, wait, there's my paint palette, which is a complete and utter disaster right now. So anyway, let's get started. And um, if you have any questions, pop them up here and I will try and check the chat every once in a while and see what came up, okay? So this face, I haven't done anything to yet. This is still, well, I mean, I smeared a little, a little gray there, but let me see if I can look at that. I didn't know I could do that. So I'm zooming in for a minute and I'm using a red sable brush, which is real soft. And I have bristle brushes, which are great for spreading the paint, but I'm doing wet into wet painting right now. So I'm using a soft red sable brush. And I just leave it dirty and I wipe it with a rag now and then. And um, so here's my, here's my technique. I'm graying down the edges, the sharp edges where the black meets the white. And then I'm gonna come back in with white and do the center of that line. And then I'll come back in and redo the black with Payne's gray instead of black. And then that'll take some of the focus out of it and, and make it a much more, it'll feel like a much more painterly painting and besides the oil paint is just so pleasurable to 
it just so smoothly um, blends onto the canvas. It just feels so good on the brush that it's like, it's really, it's really super uh, satisfying, relaxing. Love it, love it. And people often ask if oil paints are very expensive, and yeah, they do add up. You can make them go pretty far, especially if you don't try and paint blobs and blobs of paint at one time. But um, on these large canvases, I'm really going through a lot more than I expected. So feel free to super chat me. <laughs> Is that in focus? Let me see if I can focus the camera. Okay, so let's see. Um, absolutely love it. So cute, amazing. Thank you, painting step by step. I love to see your paintings too. Do you have a channel? Sounds like it. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Maybe you can give me some pointers. <laughs> but yeah, it's a shame that I that I started a painting that I shouldn't have because of uh, you know copyright regulations and stuff like that. I don't want to get sued, so I'm never going to sell this. And um, it's just for practice. And it's a lovely, lovely picture. The background's completely different than the background. Um, if you find it online, it's blue here and yellow here. I think they're probably in a, it actually was probably taken on a safari or something. It looks like a real background and whatnot. But it was just such a cute, sweet pose where the zebras are crossing necks. There's lots of zebras crossing necks pictures out there on the internet. And, um, you know, somebody took probably all of those. Do you see the yellow I just hit right there? I don't know if you can see the difference. But when you get up close, you really can see it. From a distance, it just looks like, hey, that's a white stripe. And it just looks like that white stripe's coming out at you. So it's, it's kind of a trick. So this actually here is a, um, oh, there's paint, some paint splatter on there. But yeah, so I can just come back and redefine what this face looks like. It would be hard to change this painting enough to make it like not copyright compliant or whatever. So I'll just go ahead and learn from this one and then I will, well, like for example, this morning out walking, I took photos of a horse and I'll use that horse in my paintings and that will be not copyright because I took the photo myself and it's completely, will be an original work in that case. And horses are very unlikely to sue people. I mean, the last time I got sued by a horse, wait, no, oh, <laughs> sorry, never get sued by a horse. So, um, hey, Chuck showed up. What's up, Chuck? Oh, I, you're not supposed to say what's up, Chuck, because it sounds like you're saying up, Chuck, which is like saying barf, you know, in the United States. So, if you didn't know. Oh, oh so we've been watching this TV show called, um, uh, oh my gosh, Mind Blown. So, um, well, let me think about it for a second. It's like the... Jake Doyle Detective Agency or something. What the heck is the name of that show? Can't remember now. But anyway, they're in Newfoundland and they've got all these words that I don't understand. So I just looked up what the apostrophe Y-E means because they're like, you know, and by, it means boy. Apparently I had to just look it up. It's like that, I was watching that Spanish show for a while, at least that translated underneath to something sort of like English. Uh, but anyway, so see these stripes, they're not, those stripes are not white. The eye, yeah, that eye's not even started yet. Oh my gosh. Cool painting, hitting thumbs up. Hey, John Fisher, here, I'll zoom out for you. You can see a little more of it. There we go. That's my hand on the screen and I'm sorry, I'm jerking the camera around a lot. I've got this stupid, I, I'll show it to you, the stupid thing I'm using here. Just a second. So I've got this stupid clip thing holding the camera, which is, by the way, my new phone. And there you go. There is the painting. And if you'd like, over there on the floor, 
I'll show you some more paintings because I like taking breaks, a lot of them, and I know I'm not lazy. But this is my first one. Um, you can see it finished here. For, you're the only people to see this because I haven't posted an unfiltered picture of it anywhere. So this just in. And then here's one, here's my self-portrait, which hangs upside down. That is correct. I thought that was hilarious. So this like um, very churchy lady came in yesterday and was kind of offended by, it. I could tell she was offended by me doing a vampire. So that made me quite amused yesterday. So, pardon me. I drink excessive amounts of tea. <laughs> well, you have to hang bats upside down. I mean, you know, vampires and stuff. So here, I'm gonna clip this, um, I'm gonna put this, ah, it's fighting me. Fight me, mate. Arr. Okay, is it talk like a pirate day? I think that's tomorrow. Ha. Yeah, okay, I'm trying to clip this thing on here without shutting the camera off. Jules is the mistress of the heart. No, I was in a very bloodthirsty mood that day. Um, and I can't really, I am not, I'm not, uh, let me just say that some blast from the past annoyed the shit out of me. And I really was feeling like angry. Okay, let's just say that. So it was like, you know, I'm a tolerant person to a certain point, but when I ask, when I say, you know, we're done, we're done. Go away, you know what I mean? So anyway, um, I will not defame any character here or anything like that. It's just, uh, you know, it's time to move on. And, you know, sometimes you gotta break it off with people, you know, and, um, Sometimes you don't want to have to be that person. You don't want to have to say, okay, look, you're fired as a human being. You're fired. You know, we're done. But sometimes you have to, you know? So then you, you break it off and you go have happy lives separate, you know? And um, no, don't worry. I'm still married. Not my husband. He's, he's a doll. He's a wonderful person. And um, yeah, but anyway. So that was a, so, you know, Things that are going on in my life definitely come out in my paintings. And, and that's not even like, you know, it's not necessarily planned, but I was working through something when I was doing, not with Chuck. What is Chuck? Look, I couldn't read that. I'm gonna try and see if I can pull that up again. We've been together for your whole YouTube life. Yes, you know, y'all, Fester and Farm, Greenhouse, is that what it says? He's got a ton of greenhouses. He's a super, super farmer. Um, and yeah, you know, we've talked a lot of times, Chuck and I, and there's a, there's a couple others. And some I thought would never leave me from my YouTube channel, just up and disappeared. Some people who had been around a long time and I miss them, you know, but I think sometimes there's better things that they could be doing with their time than spending it with me maybe. Uh, but, but I doubt it. I mean, come on, you guys. Um, yeah. So yeah, and my and my topics have changed quite a bit, and that's because I got bored with my first topic. And you know, maybe one day I'll get bored with painting, but it's always going to be me and my life. And if you're not, you know, see how I did that? That was pretty cool. <laughs> um, and if you're not, you know, if you're not interested in what I'm doing, whatever, you know, go do something else. Have fun. You know, that's what life's about. I've thought about splitting into different channels as a result of, you know, changing, but how many different channels would I need and how complicated would that be with the way that my brain works and the way that like one day I wanna tell you something that I learned about, you know, about life in general and another day I wanna do something about art and, you know, I mean, how's that gonna work? So really, I guess this whole thing, this whole journey with YouTube and everything is, um, it's going where I want it to go and it's, it's not necessarily going to ever be one of those big successful channels that stays on topic because I, I, just, I just don't think I can stay on topic, you know? Uh, this is my, uh, just, I'm documenting my life and my life is sometimes, you know, out in the garden. By the way, 
the giant green beans. I don't know if Chuck sent those to me, the Chinese long beans. Um, and then I had another person send some, give me some. And so I don't know which set. I think the, the ones Chuck sent me were probably uh, better for where you guys live. And then this guy, Gordon, who I gave some roosters to, gave me some more um, green bean seeds. They're two feet long. They're, and they're, they're not the tastiest beans. The beans that Chuck gave me tasted better, but these ones are so prolific that I've got a freezer full of green beans. Um, you have to blanch them first and then, uh, then you can put them in the freezer and store them. So if you have green beans from the store and you wanna save them, and there's lint in the painting, and, and you wanna save them for a long period of time, you have to drop them at a pile of boiling water for about two minutes. If they're real big, you have to drop them in for three minutes, and then you can um, kind of drain them on a towel and then put them in freezer bags, and uh, like the ones that you suck the air out of, those are the best and then put them in the freezer and then you can eat them all winter long. But, but yeah, there's, you know, there's certain ways to, to store the food. So yeah, we're still gardening and stuff and I've got the chickens and the rabbits. And the rabbits though, I love my rabbits, okay? But I want them, <laughs> I know it's wrong, but I kind of, I, I'm tempted to put them out in the grass. And I know other people say, you know, they say don't put the rabbits out in the grass because they can't handle the, um, they'll get like worms and they'll get sick and then they'll die because they're not adapted to that. But I thought, what's life? What is life if you're this zebra and you have to live in a zoo? Like how is that, your, how is that a decent life? So I really wanna, I wanna build a way for my rabbits to have a full life even if it's not gonna be a long life. I'd rather have a short, full life than a really long, boring life, if that makes sense. How about you? Yeah, so I mean, to me, I think uh, we're not, it turned out like I thought we could, I thought we could eat the rabbits, but I can't eat the rabbits. I, I can't, I can't kill them and I couldn't eat them. And so when, I, when we raised the baby ones, um, they were so darn cute. It, I can't even, I can't even breed them. So here's the problem. I have a mama bunny and three male bunnies that would breed with her. Two are her sons. So you would, and one is her father, actually. So it's a granddad, the daughter, and the boys. And the way rabbits breed effectively is, um, that's not the right white. See, there's different whites too. I mean, it's very complex. <laughs> not really. But anyway, the way that they breed is you breed um, sons to mothers, sisters to fathers, you know, or be girls to the the, yeah, I mean, it's this crossbreeding thing, it's very weird. Anyway, back to painting. This is zinc white, and I can't use this yet because zinc white is transparent, and I'm still trying to bring in the, um, I'm still trying to cover up places that are darker that I want lighter, and so I have to use titanium white for that. But I'll bring the zinc white in later, and I use this in faces. So if you look at my face right here, there's kind of like a glow up here. It's only a little, only a little of its makeup, but I love this glow that's in skin. And I always use zinc white and I mix it with a little orange and a little yellow sometimes like, and I'll vary that um, all around the areas that I wanna bring forward. And zinc white's incredible for that. But really, I just use it at the end. That's why my tube has been full for ages. Uh, but I have to go buy new tubes of titanium white all the time for coverage. So, so this little uh, painting, yeah, I'm just blending. I've got a bunch of white on here. Oh, wait, another message came up. Let's see what you said, since you guys are, you're why I'm here. Come on. It won't show me your message, I'm sorry. Okay, haha, -ha, my car is called Titanium White. <laughs> yeah, how about that? What kind of a car are you driving? A white one, it's a woman. Well, I mean, okay, some women, not Nell. Nell probably knows a lot about cars, but I'm guessing. You seem like a type that would know about cars. Whereas some women like me would be like, what kind of car is it? It's a white car, a Ford Fiesta. Aha, okay. Um, 
See, and we call Ford's found on road dead. Like that's F O R D. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> there's nobody who's off limits. There's nobody who's like we can't make fun of. If you can't take it, you know. Well, I can't take it. Don't make fun of me. But uh, <laughs> but I tease everyone. So there you have it. So I'm just I'm painting like this gray color in all the stripes because this head can't be as bright as this head because then it will look like it's um, in the foreground and it will it will look very childish and immature so I'm actually like darkening up the paint just a smidge I'm just grabbing a little of this like mixed up gray color and just blending it right next to those that black stripes to begin with and there's going to be more it's going to be more darker right where the um, near where this mane is because some of the light is going to have um, been blocked there like in the shadow so I'm just gonna bring in this I'm just using Payne's gray in the shadow there but later on I might tint it with something else like a little extra orange because orange uh, or something like that because this Payne's gray is almost blue and if you add orange and blue then you'll get a gray and then I'll like try and cool that I'll try and cool down that shadow that way by adding opposite colors so if you know about the color wheel, to make your shadows seem more realistic, you add the opposite color on the color wheel. Okay, so red and green are opposites, and purple and yellow, opposites, and uh, blue and orange. So that's, that's really, I mean, that's one of the things you just need to know in order to make the illusion of a three-dimensional quality in something, is know what those shadow colors are. So then I'm just trying to use up what's on my paintbrush here because I'm going to wipe off my brush and then I'm going to I'm going to work in that white a little bit or come in here with some of the paints gray and cover up this black acrylic paint which was the first layer of the painting. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay. Yeah, so we're just I mean, we're just creating an illusion of reality. It's it's not really how things are, I guess, but some of it's a little bit on the scientific side. And it takes a while for your eye, like my teacher was telling me, if you see something that's orange, it has got a turquoise shadow. Like, uh, there's turquoise in there, and I'm believing, like, because my skin tone's like almost orangey in the, from what I've seen over there. So, and, and a little pinkish. So I've got like a greenish blue shadow in here, okay? And I, I said, I don't know what you're talking about, and I can't see it, it just looks gray to me. So one day, I was sitting outside and I carried a tangerine, or not a tangerine, what was it? It was one of those weird fruits they have out here that's orange. A persimmon, a persimmon. I don't know if you've ever seen one of those. But I had a persimmon that had grown on our tree and I had it on a paper towel and I was sitting outside and I was looking at the shadow of the persimmon and it was turquoise. I finally saw it and once I saw that I said, looky there, she's correct. Now, I still have an axe to grind with Miss Janice. Janice said to me, it's a good thing you make jewelry because you, you sure can't paint. And I'd like her to eat her words now, but she's dead. Yes, I went to your memorial center ceremony, Janice, and you still can't take it back. So I'm still a little annoyed about that, as you can see. But um, it's funny because sometimes the harsh words that people say to you Sometimes those harsh words that people say to you are the biggest driving force in your success. Okay, when I had started jewelry, I had a friend, and Lori, and she said to me, you're not a real jeweler because you don't set stones. I mean, you're just, you know, you're just, um, like I'm just kind of playing at jewelry, or I'm just a, uh, an amateur. And so, I mean, I took that to heart. I was mad at the time. You know, but I took that anger and said, well, I'll show her. And I went out there and learned how to set stones. So, so there. That's why on my business card, you can see the girl is holding out a necklace. She's wearing a necklace and an earrings that were custom made for her with set stones. And it's pretty fancy and lovely, lovely lady. But yeah, so why don't we use those times when someone criticizes us and, and go, hmm, is that constructive? 
or is it just there to hurt you? I mean, for me saying like, cause you can't paint, I mean, that just seemed hurtful at the time. But what about like, here's how you win. You go, I can't paint, I'll show you I can't paint. Mm, this is getting better. And when I start doing like horses and stuff, that sounds wrong, but um, when I start painting horses, and it's, you know, I've taken the photograph myself of the horse and I've done all that and it's sellable and it's gonna be showing here in my gallery. She'll see. <laughs> um, yes, not a horse. Zebras are entirely a different animal from horses and you know that, mister. How is it in Turkey, man? Um, I'm not, I, I wanna say your name, but you still won't leave me like a voicemail message with how to pronounce your name, so. Um, even if you did, I'd probably screw it up. But, but there's a guy who's been around for a long time, and I miss you. Uh, so there, um, always, always love it when folks who've been around my channel a long time come back and see me. Yay! Yay! So, okay, so constructively speaking, um, like, if I was a... Uh, if I was a sculptor, well, then again, no, or a man, no, hey, okay, just kidding. <laughs> I used to do that to my husband. I would start like pretending I was having a conversation with him, but it would really just be song lyrics. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bad person. <laughs> Everything, like, I just prank people too much, I think. But I'll do that one tonight. I'll do that. If I was a sculptor, well, then again, no. Okay, what other, um, what other song lyrics can I use? for that. Oh man, I've done all kinds, all kinds of times. I've like tricked him into listening to me when I wasn't really talking. <laughs> uh, I'm a goober. Do you like misheard song lyrics? I mean, that's one of my favorite things to like read. Somebody made a set of mugs or something online or t-shirts and stuff with different misheard song lyrics. And one of my favorite is um, my husband's friend thought it was um, a Wyatt Earp shade of pale. <laughs> Not a whiter shade of pale. So um, uh, if you're familiar with the Southwest and the Old West of uh, the United States, Wyatt Earp was a lawman and he would be very pale by now. Wyatt Earp was, I believe Wyatt Earp was played by, uh, what's that actor? Uh, the one who got really fat, he was, Batman at one time. <laughs> Sweet dreams are made of cheese. Oh my God, yes. Um, you know that song, Venus? I didn't think she was singing Venus. <laughs> yeah, baby, you've got it. That, and um, there's a worse one that I was singing in front of my mom that, uh, oh my gosh. Um, this, uh, from Flashdance. Uh, let me, hang on. Hang on, I need a straight face for this one. Let me see if I can conjure up a straight face. Um, maybe my phone keeps scooting down, so now I'm like crooked. My whole back's gonna be crooked. Um, so, it was uh, Take Your Passion and Make It Happen. Do you know that song? Um, yeah. I thought she said Take Your Pants Down. <laughs> Hang on, can't breathe, can't breathe. <laughs> this is the comedy painting show, woo! Yeah, but look at that dimension, it's getting a shape, I love it. Henry, you good with this? Do you want, you need to see Henry again. Come here. Break time. So, any other uh, misheard song lyrics, you can Google them, I'll wait. He's a good dog. <laughs> He's my studio dog. So the bad news is we don't have our certificate of occupancy yet at the studio. That's why I'm able to dance around and sing and do my live streams because no one's coming in because the door's locked because yeah. So certificate of occupancy is a piece of paper that the government says, yeah, you're safe. You've got, um, you know, your emergency exits and your fire hydrants and all or fire hoses or whatever. Even if you're told you're, <laughs> me too. Some of the wrong words are way funnier. Okay, so um, 
Yeah, so go ahead and Google me some wrong song lyrics to keep me entertained, please. And if you do, I'll keep painting. But if you don't, I am out of here. I'm done. I'm done with you people. Oh my gosh. So, so what else is happening? Are you still fixing cameras, Mr. Um, SR? Those are your initials. I can just talk to you directly with your initials. And how are things in Turkey? I see, uh, luckily, you know, I haven't heard much news, which means everything must be great, right? Meanwhile, in the United States, the, uh, the Fed is desperately trying to maintain liquidity in the financial markets, and uh, we're trying to stay clear of the next recession, which is bound to happen. So that's what's happening in the U.S. right now. And uh, uh, Brexit, is anything happening with the whole Brexit thing? And I want to know, Nell, what's your opinion? How did you vote on the Brexit question? I'm getting a... I'm getting all dried out here. I can't talk. Hang on. Oh my gosh, this morning, my son was, uh, he was having breakfast before school and um, he, was eat, he was eating granola with raisins and all of a sudden, he sneezed a raisin out his nose. <laughs> what is in this paint? <laughs> no, really, he sneezed a raisin out his nose and that was awesome. And you know, you'd think I had a two-year-old because after he left for school, I was like tidying up the living room, I was folding the blanket. He was like, you know, had a blanket on the couch and was being cozy and everything, even though it's like a very warm day. Uh, <laughs> I found the raisin on the couch. I'm like, what are you two? I'm like not finding your Cheerios on the couch anymore, but now a raisin. I stopped listening to the news now. Yeah, but. Oh yeah, well I guess you shouldn't really ask somebody how you voted. I was kind of rude to this guy who was like, he text messaged me in our, it was about our local elections and he said, how did you vote? And I was like, uh, you know, that's just not, that's just not polite. I didn't want to piss off either side of this, our little local election because, you know, on the one hand, one could be our new mayor. Right, and on the other hand, I'm friends with the I'm friends with both of them, so um, yeah, that's how small my town is. Like when I wanted to make a change, I wanted to make this. Um, I wanted the, I wanted to make a big event where we pick up trash, and we did it. We two years running. First year we had 30 volunteers. Second year 60. I don't even know what's going to happen the following year, but uh, you know we're getting a lot of T-shirts printed when we do these events, and we get free hamburgers and. It's really a ball. But anyway, to get that started, I text messaged my mayor. I mean, who could do that? I mean, but that's really cool to you have representation right, you know, at your fingertips. So, I mean, if we have a question about what's happening with like construction or the different changes that they're making in the, in the laws, then we can just ask. So anyway, it's just strange. It's just strange. I mean, I like it. I really like it here. And I love my little town and the people, the people at the coffee shop are super friendly, which is right there, you know, 20 steps from my door. Cool. Japan is getting a lot of cameras fixed. That's really neat. And it's the old uh, mirror cameras, not digital. It's the old timey camera. I organize plastic collecting events. Yeah. Do you know how to melt, like, do you melt plastic and make stuff out of it ever? I do. Like the milk carton stuff. I started a, I started a video project on that and I thought, I'm gonna put 10 hours into a video and like, I'm not getting results on my videos right now. And I realized why. I watched some of my old videos and they're terrible. I don't know what you guys are here for because <laughs> my old videos, I'm like, I can barely watch them. They're horrible. Why are you guys so nice? Me being the only participant, Oh, well, that's nice. I pick up trash too. Uh, I, you know, and I kind of sort of want to make that video about picking up the trash and how I made it into something, but I didn't really finish the thing I made it into. And the, the video is funny, sort of like this, like I would take the camera and, and it like, is this something I'm going to take? And I take the camera and shake no. <laughs> See, it's like, you're saying no. Like, is your vision of saying no is the thing moves. N never mind. Okay. So, 
that fact of this, this painting is not gonna paint itself, apparently. I've lived in London for a year and hated it. Everyone's so cold. I love going down the road waving and saying hello, Mrs. Davies, hello, Mr. Jones, LOL. I love them. Me too, I like, I like friendly, um, I like friendly people. And I grew up somewhere, like I grew up on Long Island. Long Island. And um, you know, everybody on the street knew each other. Uh, sometimes we had bad histories with each other. I mean, it was the street where my sister went down the street and she like went back and demanded my brother's bike back after this jerk stole his bike. We had these, we had the bullies, we knew who they were. And um, we lived, uh, my, my last name was partially, sounded like what they called our house. They called it the DL Corral. My last name sort of sounded like that back when I was, uh, before I was married and as a child, of course. Um, but anyway, our house was the corral and, and you know, it was kind of cool. We knew each other. There were, there were parties in the street and there was, you know, kind of, there's a certain warmth to those places that you're familiar with. And in Texas, when I lived at my first house, like I didn't know our neighbors for years, like next door neighbors, we would like hardly, hardly know each other. If not, people would try not to make eye contact so they wouldn't have to talk to you. And, and it was strange, but after moving out here to the country, it's totally different. Okay, so I may have to go here for a second. Hang on. Okay, I gotta go talk to somebody, I think. Uh, no, I don't. He's just looking at the window. Okay. It's the really, it's the really nice guy who owns the coffee shop next door. He's walking around the building looking in the windows. Where is he? Hang on. There he is. Okay. I guess he doesn't want me for anything. Okay. I will keep painting for you instead. You can go. Oh, thanks. Here you go. Wouldn't that be great? That would be so great. Nobody helps me. I want some blue stripes. Wait, is that a band? I'm showing Chris my painting. He's next door. I got the thumbs up, so I got one of these. Which, you know, there's five people watching and only three of these, so who didn't do it? Whatever, oh, maybe it's somebody not signed in. I forgot about that. There could be people not signed in or, you know, not knowing how much it hurts my feelings when you don't give me the thumbs up. Oh my gosh, by the way, my last video, uh, I got some of these which was awesome because I figured out that I might be onto something. If I say something seems like kind of a scam and then a number of other people said they thought, they think that product reviews on a channel is also a scam, but I have, I have like two, two sides of the coin. I mean, marketing in general is a scam, isn't it? You know, their whole idea is to get you to part with your cash for a product, right? And so, um, you know, they have to tell you all the good things about the product. They don't tell you, you know, hey, there's a better product out there or the price, for example, or that it's worth a lot less than they're charging for this object. So I did a little research on one of the products that was sent to me to review and just, you know, basic research. I went to a store and I looked at the price and it was about $10 less than the product that I did the Amazon review for. So they're selling them for $10 less at a store locally than they are selling it online where they don't have to pay a lot of overhead and all that stuff. So um, that was interesting. And, and um, so I did the thing. It was a decent product, but it was about $10 too expensive. And another product that I looked at, um, the facial scrubber thing, that one you can get for really cheap. So what they're branding these products um, and then doing this Amazon marketing. So when you're on Amazon do, um, you should double check the prices locally before you actually part with your cash. If you, if, unless you, you know, you really need something urgently and you have to have it delivered to your door. Um, some of it's, uh, you know, sometimes you can save money by doing a little legwork. If, if money's important, you know, to you. I mean, some people, 
I'm sure time is worth more than money, but for me, um, uh, my time's pretty worthless because <laughs> I'm sitting here painting a painting for hours that I can't even sell, which is brilliant, with paint that I really should be using on something else. <sighs> yeah, I guess I should be. Um, well, you know, but you have to learn. You know, that's the thing I need to practice. And it, if I practice on this one, the next one I'll save more paint on. So we'll just use that as my excuse um, for not doing something completely worthwhile. I need to stay, I need to stay at this area. You wanna see what I did there? Let's zoom in, ew, get my face out of it. Adjustments, here we go. So yeah, I'm bringing down, I'm gonna to have to bring up more highlights again after doing this because now it's starting to look, that part of the face is starting to look a little flat in here. Um, so yeah, I gotta bring, I gotta bring those highlights back up again. And I used up all my white. So I'm using water mixable oils, which are very not common for artists to use as far as I know. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, let's hope I didn't break my phone. Oh my God, did I break it? Whew. Not broken. Hang on, back out here. Okay, not broken phone. Ow! Piper down! What movie was that? Okay, I'm gonna find a better place to clip this to. Or not, hang on, just a moment. Oh, what's going on with my hair? I got this thing in here. I chopped more bits off my hair yesterday. So anyway, let's see about this spot right here. There is paint on my screen, which I am attempting to wipe off. Yes, my phone's okay. I do have insurance on the new phone, which is lovely, by the way. Let me see if I, I'm resting this against, oh, okay, I'll show you. So here is my pottery shelf. And I have pottery ready to sell as soon as, cool. Now wears bandanas too, which my husband hates if I put these on my hair. Probably because in the U.S., like, gangs wear them, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if that's the real reason. But um, he just can't stand it. And too bad. I don't. Okay. How are we now? Is that good? We'll zoom in. What do you want to see? Do you want to see this or that? I mean, come on. What do you want to see? Because um, I can zoom in on what I'm working on over here. On my shoulder. No, I can't. I tried it. Okay, that clip thing though, that was uh, that was dangerous. <laughs> Hi, Ips Breadloaf. How are you? Uh, so um, yeah, that was really scary when my phone fell. But I have insurance on it, so I'd only be out like 150 bucks, which is more than I have for that. Uh, and then. Um, yeah, I have a spare phone. They gave me like, hey, if you get your phone service now, you get this free phone. And I was like, I don't need that phone for anything, but they're like, in an emergency, you have another phone you can use. And I was like, okay, that's my son's phone insurance. So if, if he messes up his good phone, then he's gonna have to use the, the freebie phone. It's insurance, what do you want? Okay. Oh, I love that sound, isn't that beautiful? Okay. Um, all right, guys. So the whole thing I'm working on here, three dimensionality. Oh, thanks for the thumbs up people. I appreciate that. Um, is uh, working in the three dimensional quality to this, which is already happening in this section over here, but isn't really happening here yet because I'm just starting and I'm tired of talking and listening to myself talk at this point. So I'm gonna sign out, but it's been lovely hanging out with you all. And, um, you know, if you think of any misheard song lyrics, go ahead and put those in the comments so I can laugh too, okay? Have you put a Gorilla Glass screen to, yes, I do have a screen on there. I shut it off though. Um, yes, I do have a screen, one of those screen protectors on there and that may have just saved it. But it, luckily I think it hit flat like that. And it was also in the clip. So maybe the clip, maybe the clip bore some of the, some of the force of that impact, but it seems fine. And I am tired of talking and um, 
Maybe you're tired of me talking too. I mean, let's hear you next time. When are you going live? Okay. What? I can't hear you. Okay, so um, have a great day. And you could say bye, Henry. You be well too. Glad you're here. Bye now. Bye everybody. Catch you later.